All right, how's it going? Diamond here. And today we're taking a look into Oryx Zen. I probably butchered that name completely, but it's perfectly fine. I've learned about this plugin for well over a year and I have been in contact with the developer beforehand. And I have to say, he is the nicest developer I have ever seen. He didn't know who I was at the beginning and he still provided me a copy of the plugin to see how it was and overall to see if it was good and what I wanted. He had no idea I was a plugin showcaser even at the time and that was the nicest thing he could have done even with a paid plugin. And I'm saying that because not a lot of them do that at all. But what I can say for sure is I really enjoyed the plugin at that time. I felt like some features were missing but I can happily say that I will probably be using this plugin once I've pushed my server development a little bit further because it has all the features I'm looking for for a server. You can create all your assets and everything and how you want it for your own server and that's the uniqueness of resource packs within Minecraft. This is what's letting people literally go to the next step within their servers instead of just creating any generic other server that's currently out there. But let me just try to list out some of the features that this plugin has currently. Items, armor, dyeable items, shader armors, custom HUDs, items, tools that are actually interactable and can create certain attacks within other mobs or overall weapons that you can use with spells. And I'll get a little bit more into that as it's not focused on spells, but you will see what I mean. And of course, just items you see such as decorations, even flowers and plants, which is really unique with this plugin. But you guys will see all of that just in a bit. Because before we continue this video, this video is sponsored by Revive Note. If you guys want to check them out in the description down below using the promo code DIAMOND in all caps, you can 50% off your very first purchase. Purchase. I use them, I support them, and I recommend you download this plugin and plop it onto a server, create your own community today, either just play with friends or to start your very own SMP type server or adventure type server, which I definitely want to create with this plugin. Now, of course, this video is not going to do justice to this plugin whatsoever, but I'm going to try to showcase and provide you the reason why you may like it. Now, the primary reason why I 100% like it is I talked to the developer recently and was informed that it is world edit supported. And that is super important for me when it comes to building because I want to build large structures and I want to use custom blocks. Having to place all those down, especially when you have world edit and you're creating custom terrain can be a nuisance, but it has the full support for it. I tried it out and it works perfectly fine. And that's exactly what I wanted. But here are some basic features that I can showcase right now for this plugin. If we do slash Oryx Zen, I'm going to say Oryx Zen primarily because I've never asked anyone how to correctly say it. I'm probably saying it wrong. Again, I'm deeply sorry, but we're going to continue regardless. So if we do Oryx Zen, you can see the commands and I'll see, I'll teach you guys a few of them right now. So we can do reload and you can reload the plugin. If we do inventory, that's where you see a lot of the interesting stuff so you can do inv as well but here you'll see all the custom armors you can get i'll actually get a few of them i'll get a emerald helmet a obsidian chest plate and some ruby leggings and i'll finish off with some obsidian boots or boots boots <laughs> i quite like that one we can go back and this is all within a custom menu that the plugin provided. You can create your very own as well and switch them up. We have the custom blocks as well, which is insane. <laughs> Recycle bin, I do want to check that one out. And we have a shelf, some a coach, which is in the background there. We have a chair, which is actually functional. And we have some cave block, uh, amethyst, Ruby. I'm just showing that you can get them all for GY, which you can set up and have your own custom as well. I actually did set this plugin up for a friend and it was really easy to mess with, but let's check out this more recent one, which is flowers. And we also have skins. So for this one, you can basically see that you can have skins for different type of sword. But here I have a regular diamond sword and then I can get the giant sword and we can go into mystical. So here we have all these cool weapons and this might actually blow your socks off. I'll actually grab quite a few of them and I'll even grab the shield and the magic book as well. And then we have tools, which you can see here. And I can grab an obsidian one because I will need that to show you guys something really cool. I'll even grab this bedrock pick and I got an achievement for some reason. And the hammer. I'm filling my inventory quite fast with all these items. And we have all the custom items we can get as well. I'm only going to grab one because you'll see why it doesn't matter. And of course hats. So I'll grab this space helmet and I'll even grab a witch's hat since it's close to Christmas recently. And last but not least, we have plants. And this one is super interesting and I'll show you guys in a bit why. So we do have, for example, the weed plant. So we can grab that. We have grapes as well. And these are actually, well, you can eat them, but let's start with the armor since we have it already in our inventory slot. You can actually put it on. That's no idea what's happening there. But as you can see, it actually does work. I believe mine is just having an issue because some of them might actually use shaders and I can't use 
actual shaders which with, with iris but that's not an issue whatsoever i do know that right there yep it's just a shader issue itself it does work it's just that I'm currently using a shader pack and it may interfere with it a bit, but primarily a lot of people who play with research packs don't use shaders, so it's perfectly fine. But if you are using it, just letting you know why it might be happening. It's going to toss these into here. Don't need them anymore. And I do want to check this out. I feel like it's this piece of paper, but if it is something else, it's, it's just a piece of paper. I want to see I'm disappointed. I don't know how to feel about this one. But of course, that's not really the reason we're here. We have shelves which can be placed against walls. So this is really nice and I really do like it. It's such a good feature. Um, you can put them on the floor, but as you can see what happens there exactly, I can break them and overall it works perfectly fine. This is a great way to decorate homes in actual Minecraft. You can place as well, such as the coach. And the reason this is interesting is because it's actually, it can actually be rotated towards the player's location. I can break it as well. And you can see here, it has not just one, but get out of here up to three times two barrier blocks preventing players just to actually go through it and that's again important as you want it not only to look good but be interactable i can actually i'm just going to leave that right about here so you can see it and drop that now we have the chair the reason i say this is important one it's rotatable which is super important especially when it comes to chairs and decoration types but you can also just go ahead and sit on it and that i'm actually going to remove the armor <laughs> it looks terrible in shaders I don't blame developers for this. I just blame Minecraft for not adding shaders sooner. But as you can see, it works perfectly fine and it, it does its job. It's a chair. That's all that really matters here. But that's actually pretty cool. What the heck? Didn't realize I could just throw them in there. All right, it's gonna throw that as well. And then we have the cave block, which it provides you information of how blocks actually work. Because Minecraft has limitation of you can't really create transparent blocks for say unless you're using a transparent block you can see this issue here but if you're using it for anything else you may it will work as long as you just don't place it on the ground all right let's check out some other things we can go ahead and actually check out the ores and i will actually grab that bedrock and obsidian pick because we're gonna have to check that out because we're gonna have to see how it functions now i'm actually gonna go into survival for this and before we continue there's also these custom menus that you can create as well i really like them it really makes the server feel unique but I also like it when players actually take the time to make their whole server a resource pack server. Just don't add one or two small features. Really go out with it because players will come back and see that your server is unique. Not just a resource pack they're forced to download to have a cool little chat and probably this menu. So again, if you're creating a server with a resource pack, really go with it. It can make it 100% unique. But here as you can see, it actually changes quite a lot. So we have the image above, we have the text below, and the see you soon. And even the top, back back to the orcs and experience. Okay, fair enough. And we can just leave that like that. Now I can actually go ahead and place all our custom ores down and I can actually even mine them. So I'm gonna use whatever pick this currently is, which sadly broke the ore, which it was the bedrock pick. Should have expected that. Now let's use the obsidian one and we get the custom ore as well. So as you can see, this was the M. I know this one was the ruby. Let's break this one instead. And I get the ruby. I have no idea what this one was. It was amethyst. Oh, cool amethyst source. We get the custom items. We can even use them with our custom tools. The bedrock one though sucks. It, it doesn't even look good. Come on. I'm not blaming the artists. It's a really cool pick, just not my liking. But let's go ahead and check out the plants. Now, the really cool feature about this is plants work in a different system, not like Minecraft, where it will only grow, there is light above it. So it can't be blocked or anything like that. But overall, just adding a unique plant into Minecraft in general is new. And I know Minecraft is planning to add in the future, but until then, you can create your very own custom ones now. So let's go ahead and plant, I believe this was the weed seed here. So after just placing it there, what we can do is actually wait for it to grow. Sadly, I'm just gonna have to leave this, but it actually can have different states. So I can actually just plant that all around right here. It actually will have different states of it growing. I'll try to come back and show different states while this video is progressing, but I can show you what happens once you actually harvest. Now for this to work, I need to be hungry in order to actually eat. So I will try to call, take some damage here and see what fully happens. Of course I'm invincible, why? Oh my God. All right, let's try this in creative at least. So I know, of course you can eat them. Sadly, because of my poor world edit experience, I won't be able to show it in survival, but you can eat them in survival. And last but not least, you can have a trip with this. So if you have one of those servers that have drugs, you can really take it up another level with these. Because it just really makes the experience a lot better, I won't lie. 
That's a weird way to say after I just had that, but okay. Let's go ahead and check out the hats before we get to some really cool stuff. Just by placing them, as you can see, it, it, I mean, it's a hat. It works great. It's the function is there and don't know. I want, want it back. Give it. This is a beefy one, Jesus. But again, you're not limited to any of these. You can create your very own custom ones. And I probably will do tutorials and creating your custom items in the future. So keep an eye out for that. This is actually a pretty cool sword. I won't lie. Too bad I don't use swords. And here's a new feature that I am really happy that they added, which was flowers. Just different variations like this and not being correlated to the plant is really nice. Just seeing different vegetation in Minecraft makes it feel like you're in modded without having to download a single mod. This is what really makes servers just unique and keeping your players coming back. Give them the mod of experience without downloading a single mod and having to handle all that client installation. They will come back. Trust me on that one. But let's go ahead. We have a legendary hammer as well. These are functional, so I can hit a creeper. Works just how it's intended to. And let's go ahead and put all these amazing, unique items in our inventory. So as you can see there, we actually have the shield that is functional as well. I really like that. It's cool and amazing. And sadly, not much I can show other than that for the shield. We can go ahead and place a creeper. And let's start off with the magic book. If I just go ahead and right click it, you can see some amazing particles coming out of it. Sadly, there is a cooldown. I don't think I can just copy it and use it again. Nope, we'll have to wait four to 12 seconds. That is a huge book though. Let's go ahead and use, for example, we have the battle ax, which you can set different damage. And we even have the ice staff. Let's go ahead and get this boy. Yeah, it does not do as much damage as just a battle ax. So when it comes to this plugin, you're not just limited to actually using the custom items, but you can add really cool effects when you're holding the item in your hand. So with this sword, well, not really a sword, but a magic wand, you can really use the full length of this plugin, creating such amazing features like that. I believe I have enough to do the book now, so I want to make sure this creeper just stops and I missed them slightly. All right, I really do want to hit it with it though, but I gotta wait two seconds, he's not moving. And it instantly kills, Jesus Christ. It's actually better than the actual battle ax. But as you can see, it's not just the cosmetic, but the functionality of the plugin is fully there. I'm not gonna show too many hammers though, because we can be here all day showing that. What's a whiff hooker? Whiff hooker. Oh, wither hooker. That is cool. I have no idea what the concept is, but that is awesome. Also, you can see that the actual textures are animated, so you can animate the textures and have it fully supported. But there you have it right there. That's the plugin and what I can showcase to you. I'll try to create some more tutorial plugins regarding resource packs in the future, but I hope you enjoyed this video by itself. But other than that, I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will catch you in the next one. Cheers.